Welcome back, I'm Ennis, White Acre Properties. We are in Freetown today, one of our latest flips. Um, just like every other flip that we're doing, wanted to show you guys inside. Uh, I want to show you some before and after uh, pictures really quick and then I'm gonna uh, share with you the numbers. So follow me around and uh, I'll show you everything. Let's go. All right, let me close that door really quick so we don't get any noise from the street. Um, so this is a Cape, three bedroom uh, plus an office, one bath, and uh, it's a cosmetics rehab. So it's not, we didn't do a ton of work here. We're gonna go over some of the costs that we incurred on this property, but you know, uh, basic stuff, we didn't go crazy. So hardwood floors, that's one thing that we installed and it made a big difference. Painted everything obviously, so it got fresh paint throughout, changed this fireplace a little bit, but painted the metal uh, and the, bricks just you know we just painted over it so nothing crazy there and then obviously it looks great because we staged it right you guys know I'm a big fan of staging it makes the house look much warmer uh, like someone lives in it so and it's not cluttered right so it looks uh, nice and fresh all right let's go in the kitchen real quick all right so the kitchen uh, I'll show you really quick a picture of the before so you see the before and after and um, so now that we're back, we put new cabinets, uh, new granite countertops, new appliances, new faucets. Um, obviously the flooring is brand new. So it's a brand new kitchen, right? The, the colors are light. It makes the space um, feel much bigger. Yeah, we didn't do anything else though. Those lights are brand new um, and that's about it. All right, so next, we let me show you this bathroom really quick kept the existing doors and painted that, um, just changed the vanity, put new toilet, and then replaced the existing tub. That's one way for us to save some money. Uh, instead of replacing the tub, putting new tile, we just replaced it and you know, for $750, you can keep the cost down. So obviously we put the floor down, uh, that's brand new, because that makes a big difference. All right, so bedroom number one, really quick. Come this way, please. So be bedroom number one, good size bathroom. Uh, I'm sorry, good size bedroom, nothing crazy about it. Um, looks great with staging. Bedroom number two right here. Kids room, I guess. Uh, and we'll go upstairs, I'll show you two more uh, bedrooms really quick, all right. So this is the bigger one. Um, it doesn't have a master bed, that would have been nice but I think this is more like a master bedroom. And then you got an, we staged this as an office space. You can probably call it a fourth bedroom, but right now with everybody working from home, um, we thought it'd be a good idea to just stage it as an office space, right? Uh, so that's, that's what we did. Let's go downstairs and I wanna show you guys how we found the property. Uh, cost as far as the rehab, uh, our profit margins, if we can, uh, run those numbers really quickly so you can get an idea. All right, so let's go over some uh, numbers as I promised. Before I, I show you guys what we paid for it, the renovations, what everything cost, uh, this is the property address. So for you guys that are following us now, you know these are real deals. We're not coming up with uh, with different deals just for to shoot a video, right? This is exactly the properties that we're flipping. So um, 128 Bullock Road, Freetown is the property we're in right now. It's about an hour away from where our office is in Framingham. And um, this was an online lead. So someone went on our website, they filled out a form, they wanted to sell the property. And typically we stay within an hour. So this is literally um, as far out on the South Shore as, as we come. We have never been to Freetown before. Actually, I had no idea where it was, but uh, it's a good town. There is a, a quite a, a lot of demand actually in this town as well. So we took the project. We bought this in August, uh, 
2020 for $205,000. And um, the seller, I think, I'm not exactly sure of the situation, but he was a single father with uh, kids and he wanted to move away from this property. He was at a point where he couldn't afford the mortgage anymore and he wanted to walk away. Uh, he had some very little equity and that's the price we were able to negotiate and was a win-win all around. So purchase price 205 was an off-market deal. Again, he went on our website, filled out the form. Mark, our acquisition guy, came and met with him and uh, put a deal together. That was a win-win. So 205 for uh, purchase price. Uh, we can talk really quick about uh, rehab numbers. Again, I, I told you guys this is just cosmetics. So what we ended up doing is um, we paid our contractor $13,000 for tile in the bathroom uh, to demo the kitchen that was existing uh, and a small pantry that was kind of closing the kitchen. So we, we wanted to open that um, and then paint, paint and finish carpentry. Um, by that I mean installing the cabinets um, and some uh, putting a couple new doors so he charged us 13,000 for this all right hardwood floors the hardwood floors definitely made a big difference in this house it used to be I think it was just carpet uh, and was a really rough shape so we removed that that was part of the demo cost to remove the carpet and put hardwood floors, which like it cost us eight thousand um, dollars. Kitchen cabinets. So the whole kitchen, uh, the whole kitchen cost us. Actually, let's break it down. So we'll do kitchen cabinets, the granite countertops, and the appliances. I mean, all all together, it's eleven thousand dollars. But if you want to break it, it's six, three, and two. Uh, uh, actually, it's the opposite. Sorry, it's granite countertops was two thousand, and then appliances was three thousand. My bad. Eleven thousand dollars for the kitchen. All right, plumber and electrician. So, plumber was at twenty two hundred dollars. And basically what the plumber did is install a new faucet in the kitchen, install a new uh, toilet in the bathroom, new vanity uh, faucet, and then I think we installed a new shower head and uh, shower trim. So for that work it was $2,200 and I think we had uh, a leak in the basement that he had to cover. So that's his cost, $2,000 to the electrician um, and that was to put all the new lights that you saw around, uh, just flash mount lights, and uh, I think that's about it. So, still, it cost us two thousand uh, dollars to haul the other old lights out, put new lights in. All right, what what's left here? Um, landscape was fifteen hundred dollars. Basically, just do a fall clean out. Um, our driveway was overgrown, so he had to trim that a little bit uh, and create very light um, put some plants right in front of the house for curb appeal so you got that that's landscaping the biggest ticket item though for this property um, is the septic this house needed a new septic and uh, we knew that going in and that's gonna cost us twenty five thousand dollars that twenty five thousand dollars includes the uh, engineer that does the design of the septic plus the um, installation right so that's 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 a big one, and and septics can go anywhere from twenty thousand to sixty thousand dollars. So don't take this number as a rule of thumb. It depends on where you're located, your soil type, all of that stuff. So definitely, if you need to put a new septic, make sure you run your numbers before you even buy the house. Make sure you reach out to a septic in engineer and installer. So all right, twenty five thousand. Last item is just stuff we buy from Wayfair. Um, and Amazon, you know, just the finishes, right? The lights, the faucets, the vanity, all that stuff. Um, that cost us $1,800. Last one, I promise, staging. 
staging for this property was 2,500 bucks. All right, so total number is 66. Uh, I'm sorry, 67, zero 30. So 67,030 $67, dollars. Let's just call it 67,000 in rehab. So whatever you guys saw here, um, it cost us $67,000. And again, the big one is the septic. Without the septic, it would have been around $50,000. So uh, let's take a look at what the numbers would look like on this side. What's the profit margin and, uh, and, and the timeline? If, you, if this was a HDTV show, you probably would look at this as a purchase price and then you'd have the rehab of 67,000, right? So your all-in would, would be easy math here, but probably I'll embarrass myself, 272,000, right? So that's, that's what they would say, purchase price plus rehab, you are all-in at 272. Our, uh, we're under agreement right now for 365. So sale price, 365,000. Again, if this, was, if this was an HDTV show, they'll be like, well, that's your profit. Sale price minus purchase price minus your rehab, that's your profit, which looks like somewhere in the ballpark of, let's say, $90,000. That's wrong. You have a lot more cost here uh, before you, you know, that's not the correct math. You have a lot of cost that you incur between buying it and selling it. So let's do this the right way really quick. And by the way, why did we get 365? So we listed it, uh, I believe we listed this at 349. Uh, and that's our strategy for getting multiple offers. We slightly uh, underpriced the property. Uh, we had two open houses this past weekend and we got five offers. So people wanted this house, it's, it's, it's in a great location, it's a good house, so they started competing against each other. And uh, that bumped our price up from the 349 uh, to the 365 that we uh, got it under agreement. So that, that's a good price, we're happy with that. And now we're just waiting for the septic to be installed and for the buyer to, find, to get the financing lined up and we go to closing. All right, so let's talk uh, profit margins really quick. Purchase price. I told you guys it's 205. Um, we bought this on 814. We talked about that. Um, the rehab we said was 67,000. All right. Um, holding cost. This is super important. Depending on if you're buying it cash or if you got a hard money lender. In our case, we got a hard money lender, uh, which is two points and 10% annual interest. So the two points on our loan, the loan we got on this property is 220,000. So points, two points means 2% 2 of the loan uh, that, we, that we're borrowing, right? So it's uh, 400, I'm sorry, $4,400. And then if, so we bought this in August 14, 2020. And we're, we should go to closing uh, based on the offer we got in December 15, 2020. So that's four months of holding this property. So we got four months of holding costs. And that looks something like $8,800 in interest. Again, it's 10% annually. It's about $2,200 a month in interest. Um, or $8,800 for the four months that we're carrying the property. All right, really quick, utilities. Obviously you pay utilities while you own it, right? All the electricity is on right now, we have to pay that bill. Uh, water, electricity, those are utilities that you have to pay for the four months that you own it. So we got the utilities, we got the property tax. Um, in our case, for the four months, it's somewhere in the $1,200 range, I believe, property tax. And then you got the, um, insurance so this is super important that's you can't forget about that because that's a, again a cost that you have to pay to carry the property to closing in our case this is about thirty five hundred dollars all right commissions now 
we're selling the property, so we're paying a 4% commission to both buyer and, and seller's agent, and uh, this can be as high as 6%. In our case, we're only paying 4% commission. That totals to $14,800. All right, double closing costs. What I mean by double closing costs, when we bought this property in August, we had a closing, so we had to pay title insurance, uh, recording fees, attorney fees, that was a couple thousand dollars, and now that we're gonna go to closing, we have um, Massachusetts stem tax, we have attorney fees, we have still have recording fees and all that, so that's another $3,000. So double closing costs, because we have a purchase and a sale of the property. So that's just for easy math, we're putting down $5,000. Double closing, it's 5,000. All right, I think that is it. So if, if you look at the sale price of 365, sale price, and you subtract all these line items, the purchase price, the rehab, the holding cost, the four months of holding, the, the points, the utilities, commission, double closing fees, it's gonna give you a profit of 56,500. Right, so that's our profit on this property, which is right in line with our average profit on the flips, which is somewhere between 50 and 75. Um, and that's the math. That includes every single expense that we have. The rehab budget being a big one, uh, you wanna make sure you're not skipping anything there, uh, but also the holding costs and everything else that we talked about. So, hope you guys finding value in this. Um, we're trying to be as transparent as possible. This is how we run our business and this is the, the math that we go through every single property. The key is obviously finding a good deal up front, right? Buying, that's the most important. That's when you make your money, uh, buying it right. Renovating it, now we are at a point where we don't want to over improve the property, that's really important. A lot of the new investors, they want to make everything look great, and um, which that, that that's nice, but you want to make a profit. So. For example, in our case, we didn't replace windows, we didn't replace the roof, we kept the existing doors, so you want to keep as much as possible, but you want to make it visually nice as well, right? Uh, the demand for this type of property is so high that you really don't have to go crazy on the rehab side of it. Um, so that's about it, and then the last thing I want to say, like, I, and I think I mentioned is it's pricing it right. Uh, don't overprice the property so it sits on the market and it sits on the market. You probably want to slightly under uh, price it so you get a ton of people to an open house and you get a bit more started. All right, so like, subscribe, share this. Please help us out so more people can see it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.